Hi, I'm Gabby Company, and this is The Dreaming Show. In today's show, my awesome guest is Henrique Diaz from Brazil. He's an expert in human behavior. Hello, Henrique. How are you? Uh, hello, Gabby. I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me here today. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. The topic today is how to unlock the best version of yourself and get what you want in life. Please. Could you tell us what do we need to do to unlock that potential that we have and sometimes people don't know? Yeah, absolutely. When it's, it's interesting because I think it all comes from that aspect of people doing too many things that they don't like, to buy too many things that they don't need, to please too many people they don't care about. <laughs> and it's when you realize this pattern that you can actually start changing it. And if you change the last bit, which is doing things for, to impress people who you don't care about, that's when you really start unlocking the best version of yourself because you start doing things to impress yourself, rather. Tell me, Henrique, how can we know? This, I actually have a little, sort of little story that I like to use to illustrate Please, this. Please, tell us. And um, it's basically the magnet and the steel filing story. It uh, comes from Oscar Wilde. He's the one who sort of had this the first time around. So there was a magnet in this place and it was a big magnet and it was just there by itself. But around the magnet, far away, there were a lot of steel filings, little thin steel filings. And one day the steel filings looked at the magnet and they started talking about the magnet and they were like, wow, magnet just, that's really beautiful. I think we should, uh, we should go there, you know, like look, look at it. It's just so attractive. And then the others were like, oh, I don't know, that might be a bad idea. It could be dangerous. Who knows? We've never seen something like that. So th they kept talking about it, some of them debating whether to go, whether to not go. And they didn't realize. But what, what was really happening was that as they were talking about this magnet, they were getting closer and closer to the magnet. Then the closer they got to the magnet, the bigger it got. And they started looking at the magnet like, oh, but it's beautiful. Look at all this detail that we couldn't see before. And we should really go there. I mean, let's, let's, some people started forming little groups to try to go there, but other groups were like, no, 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 it's, it could be dangerous, guys. Let's not risk it. <laughs> I mean, we've never seen this before. What could happen if we go there? And then they don't, didn't realize, but they were getting closer and closer to that magnet as they talked let, about let, it. let me ask you before you continue. So what you mean is something similar, what happened in, in life. People sometimes they want to achieve goals, but because of fear, they are stuck. That's correct. That's pretty much what it is. So there were the they're filings. adapting. They're adapting. Can I do this? Or maybe no. I'm not good enough. Probably next time. Probably tomorrow. That's right. Exactly. So those were the so those were the steel filings who are saying no, no, no. It could be dangerous. So let's mm -hmm. not do that. They, they, mm -hmm. they, they don't want to take that Could risk. Can you continue with the story, please? Yeah, definitely. So so. Because of these guys holding the other ones back and the other ones wanting to go forward, the more they talked about it, they still got closer and closer to this magnet. And then it got to a point where they were so close to it. And some of them said, no, I'm going to go. I don't care about you guys. I'm going to go and I'm going to go tomorrow. And then the other guys were like, oh, I don't know. This is dangerous. This is, we shouldn't be <laughs> risking this. And then the next day comes. Always there are some people. Eh? No, don't do back. this. Don't do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what they were sort of trying to do over there. But... Eventually, one of them wakes up and says, I'm going now, and I don't care about anybody else. And then a couple of his friends said, you know what, I'm going with you. And then other friends said, I'm going too. So the people around them started just flocking toward this magnet. And then the other ones who were not willing to go at all because they were at the back and they looked around and said, well, we're kind of lonely here now, so just might as well go. So they all went vroom in one big motion and got attached to this magnet. And then the magnet just smiled and thought to itself, oh, I didn't have to do anything. And all these steel filings came to me by their own free will. Hmm. You see, the magnet was just being the best version of itself. The magnet wasn't doing anything. It was just being itself. Unique. And it attracted, exactly, exactly. And it attracted all of these steel filings to it. And this is the analogy that I like to make in life, which is, would you rather be a steel filing or would you rather be the magnet? It's mm -hmm. your choice. It's not like you were this or you're that. You can become what you want to become, basically. Yes, and there are right. tools that we can use to become that magnet rather than be the steel filings. Applying that example, could you tell to the audience, please, one key strategy to unlock that potential? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I believe that we all have 
I don't believe, I know that we all have our strengths within ourselves. There's things that we're great at, things that have maybe been buried in there that we haven't used in a long time. It's almost like there's a little a little box that's inside of our head with all of those strengths, but that box is, is locked, you know? And uh, I'd like to think that I'll give you a key to at least try to unlock that box and be able to bring those uh, strengths out. And when you start doing that and you start talking about the things that you like and you start doing the things you're good at, going to the places that you like, mm-hmm. the people who like those same things start coming to you instead of you going to them. For example, you, so let's say you meet someone who really likes to play golf, but you don't like to play golf. You never play golf in your life, but you really want to impress that person. Maybe it's for a job, maybe it's for a relationship, maybe it's for a friendship, but you just really want to impress that person. So you're like, you know what? They like to play golf, so I'm going to go golfing with this person. I'm going to spend eight hours on a Saturday going through 18 holes just because that person wants me to play golf with them. <laughs> now, that person is doing what they love. They're being the magnet and you're being the steel filing, doing something that you don't like to try to impress them. Now, the question that I have is, imagine that magnet tried to disguise itself as a steel filing. Imagine it just dressed itself up as a big steel filing. Why would the steel filings go to it? It's just another one of them. Mm. So the more you try to change yourself to be like someone else, the less interesting you become to them. Because it's just obvious that you're not that person who you truly are. You're just trying to change yourself to pretend that you like the same things that the other person does. And at the end of the day, that doesn't add anything to the relationship. That person is actually going to like you less than if you were just yourself. Yes, I can see every day there are many people, they want to satisfy everyone. Even though they are feeling unsuccessful, even though they are wanting to do different things, tell me, what kind of things do you think they can apply every single day to change that kind of mentality? You told us already many strategies, but I would like to go more deep. Any specific strategy that normal people, they can apply every single day before to go outside to to life. Absolutely. There's there's one that I really like, and I like to use this example to just to illustrate it, which is if you go to the market and you have the place where you can get apples, and then there's the bananas, and there's the pears, and then there's the oranges, but all of those apples are you know, they're average, but there's that one apple that's really shiny, it's big, it's juicy, it looks fresh, fresh and red and delicious. It's just wonderful. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I don't like apples, so mm-hmm. I'm not going to buy that apple. <laughs> and, and when people, imagine that apple got, you know, frustrated because I didn't go and buy it and disguise itself as a pear. And then I go and I buy that apple who is disguised as a pear and I take it home and I take a bite of it and I'm like, oh, this is not a pear, this is an apple. So why would you want to try to pretend that you're not someone to please everyone? You just have to accept that some people don't like apples. Even though you're the shiniest apple there is, there's people who like apples. They're going to go there and pick that one shiny one. Now, the strategy to be able to be the shiniest self, to be the shiniest version of yourself, Mm -hmm. and one of the things that I do every single day is to actually write down what I want to become. Mm -hmm. Write down my strengths as well. So there's things that we want to do, there's things that we already have. I'd much rather work on my strengths and become even better at them than try to work on my weaknesses. If you have your weaknesses, accept that you have your weaknesses. Work on the strengths because working on your weaknesses is trying to please everyone. Yes. Let me ask you, when you say writing every single day, you mean you have your journal? writing journal? That's absolutely right. So I have a journal that I write every day and it doesn't even have to be a journal. If you have a piece of paper, it's just it's just the exercise of writing it down really helps you to internalize it. It's something that I've read so many times about and it took me so long to start doing it because I'm like, oh, I don't like writing. But as soon as I start doing it, you can realize the difference within weeks. It's uh, within a few weeks. It's very, very quick. Now, what I do write down are the strengths that you have. Choose at least three. There's three things that you must be really good at. There's three things that you must really like. So by writing them down, and when I say writing them down, I say 15 to 20 times. You just repeat that same sentence. I am good at this. Mm -hmm. I want to become good at this. I want to stop thinking about this. You just start internalizing that process so that when 
the issue comes, you remember about it because you're writing it down so much. And because you're writing it down so much, you start talking about it more. And when you talk about it more, the people who like the same things that you do, the people who enjoy your strengths, they start coming to you. So it's not like you have to go to them to say that you're strong at this. You just showcase, just like the magnet. It was big, it was magnificent. It wasn't doing anything. It was just showing what it really was. And that's what you want to do by acknowledging your strengths to yourself, you start unlocking mm -hmm. them. By starting to talk about them, you start attracting people who like the same things that you do and who actually can take advantage of your strengths. I like that strategy about writing the journal. It's like reprogramming your unconscious mind to be alert that you can do many things. Thank you. Thank you very much, Henrique. Uh, could you tell us, please, about uh, how can people contact you? How come? People can oh, contact, contact me. I, uh, I'm available on, on mobile. It's 0434-764-183 uh, or by email. It's enrique.cdias91 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. And I would encourage you to contact me if you want help with anything to do with trying to get that best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. I won't tell you what you're best at because I don't know it either, but I'll give you the steps in much more depth on how to get there. Things that I've done that have helped me. Mm -hmm. And also because of the nature of my job, which is a recruiting, if you need help and if you want to understand the job process better and how to nail that process, you can also give me a call and within a few minutes I can tell you exactly how to nail from step one to getting the job pretty So much. you can give clarity. Absolutely. It's just little guiding steps. I'm not going to be writing a resume <laughs> because I don't know what those people are good at, but I'm just going to tell them, what do I like to see when I'm recruiting people? What, what's a good candidate like to me? And, which is very general, that these rules that we apply are very general. It's a very analytical process that we go through. And a lot of people, they think that they can sell themselves too much when truth is, we know how to get those people too. So there's a way that you can write your resume, look for the job, yeah. the right job. Different strategies to follow. Prepare for the interview and everything until you get that job and then you're sold. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much, Enrique. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching us. My name is Gabby Company. This is The Dreaming Show. I would like to say thank you very much to Vergara Collection for this fantastic jewelry. If you like this video, please write it down. Um, put a like in the channel. See you next time. Gabby Company and Henrique Diaz with us. Don't All forget to best. write your strengths down. Show.